This video displays different ways of applying a force to a model in the anybody modeling system and it displays the output which can be generated. First an introduction slide on the anybody modeling system. Anybody is basically a multibody dynamic system. It's developed in-house for musculoskeletal analysis. It's, self, it's a self-contained system. There are interfaces to motion capture, CAD software, image-based bone and muscle data, find element software and office system. It's based on an open body model and there is a broad and deep model validation and there is an API for embedded use. Yeah, anybody is a multibody system based on inverse dynamics. So anybody calculates the forces associated with the motion and the system. We are looking for the internal forces in the body which are hard to measure and calculate. This means that the flow of logic is that the system takes the body model consisting of muscle, bones, ligaments and joint as input and the movement is also the input. And the loads or if you like the external forces acting on the body are input. Output is then essentially the internal mechanical properties of the body so forces in the, in the individual muscles and joints and muscle activations, mechanical muscle power etc. In this video we're going to focus on the different ways that the load can be applied to the model and, and the output that is generated in terms of forces. All forces are related to the kinematics by the principle of virtual work. What we do is, is inverse dynamics so we prescribe the motion and the external loads and then calculate the forces. The unknown forces are found by solving the dynamic equilibrium and using a muscle recruitment optimization to find muscle forces. Looking at this small example illustrates what we do in a simple model. There is one joint here in the elbow and there is one muscle. And then in the hand there is applied a mass and the forearm also has a, has a mass. And then, then by making a mobile equilibrium around the elbow joint we can find the muscle forces Fm needed to balance the model. Imagine now that the muscles was that that more muscles were spanning the elbow joint and it would become impossible to find an analytical solution on how to distribute the forces between these muscles this is why we use optimization to distribute the forces among the muscles since in a real body there are many more there are many muscles spanning each joint we also do we also do force dependent kinematic this method wraps inverse dynamics and finds the equilibrium position for a specific degrees of freedom in the model and this is useful to determine, to determine joint articulation for example in in the knee now we'll go through the different types of forces we have and show some examples of each we have inertia forces environment forces and internal body forces Anybody is based on a general multibody dynamics formalism, so it includes automatically internal inertia forces uh, and acceleration of masses and gravitational forces. Environment forces or boundary conditions forces can be applied in different ways. Measured forces can be applied to the model. Of course, we have we have standard any script classes for adding a force from a force plate. So typically these data are included in the Sefridi file and can be directly applied using a pre-made class template. So the only thing that needs to be done is to, to uh, import the class and point at the right data in the script it, that comes from then the Sefridi file. Um, like the video here uh, displayed is an example of this where the force is applied on the feet using data which has been imported through a C3D file. Uh, since the measured force will never balance exactly uh, the model, there is a hand of God applied in the pelvis. This accounts for the mismatch between the measured force, the motion and the model data. Uh, this slide shows another example of measured data. Here pressure a pressure mat data uh, has has been applied to the new I mean to the detailed foot model now available in the repository. Uh, this kind of setup allows detailed uh, uh, information to be obtained about the loads inside the foot.
This slide displays an example on how to calculate the environment forces or the boundary conditions. So you do not need necessarily to measure the, the, the boundary condition forces with a force plate. You can let the system calculate these boundary condition forces act, that are acting between the human and the machine by itself. Uh, this example displays a leg press machine. In terms of forces, the input to the model is simply the mass of the, uh, of, of the weights in this model, of, in this machine. Then contact conditions has been defined between the spine, pelvis and feet and the model calculates itself the boundary force is needed to balance the model. So note here the, the blue lines in the video which represent the calculated contact forces. It will calculate these forces as part of the muscle recruitment solving and it will automatically find the combination of support forces with, with, which will lower the muscle actuations as much as possible but at the same time balance the model. So in this case prevent the weights from sliding downwards. Please note also that this setup it handles closed kinematic loops and if for example one leg is weaker than the other one it will automatically try to shift the load to the, to the other, other leg to equal out the muscle activations. Additionally it also allows you to uh, prescribe friction. This type of model allows key design parameters of the machine to be changed or optimized in terms of the effect that this has on the body. This is another example where, uh, on, on how anybody can predict the foot reaction forces during stair walk motion. The concept is similar to the previous one except that this is a more dynamic situation. There is a definition of contact forces uh, between the uh, between the stairs and the human and there is a weak hand of God acting in the pelvis. Uh, the input motion comes comes here only in terms of a BVH file from Excellence and there are no measured forces in this model. So even with a limited amount of data available the model still allows internal forces to be found and the consequences of doing different motion can be compared. This slide relates to the internal forces. We can calculate, for example, the joint reaction forces uh, and, and the muscle forces. Notice here that how the muscles are changing colors depending on their activation. Basically, the system will give all the internal forces acting on in the body, including all joint reaction forces calculated as a function of both muscle contractions and the external loads. This video shows an elastic band exercise Notice here the black line uh, displayed in the glenohumeral joint. This vector represents the, uh, the size and direction of the reaction force in the glenohumeral joint. Uh, notice here how this joint reaction force is not much related to the direction of the band, but rather, uh, I mean, primarily, the direction is primarily muscle induced. The video here shows uh, the internal forces and moment at a certain point of interest to simulate the mandible fracture situation. So it allows you to obtain physiological loads acting in the fracture plane. The, tra the transparent plane represents the fracture plane. The light blue vector represents the force acting in the fracture and the purple vector represents the moment in the fracture. So this is an example of, of how the internal forces can be calculated and displayed inside the modeling system to provide valuable information on the forces in a fracture plane. The internal forces acting on the bones can also be exported to a finite element model where you, they can provide a detailed physiological load case on the bone, something which is difficult to obtain in other ways. We have converters available which allow load cases to be directly transferred to Abacus through our antibody to Abacus converter and to ANSYS through the anybody to APDL converter and also to other formats through a generic XML format. So to summarize, with the anybody modeling system you can apply forces in multiple ways from having it all measured to have no measurements. The interface forces between the human and environment can be calculated. The internal forces inside the body can be found down to the individual muscle level and the joint reaction forces included, includes a significant contribution from muscle contractions. There are additional resources available. We have a website 
there is a publication list on the website with a list of publications where, which has, where, any, where the anybody modeling system has been used. On YouTube there is a, a list of webcast and demonstration videos available and on the forum and they, we also have a forum and a wiki and inside the anybody modeling system there is a full uh, list of tutorials available that will take you through almost all aspects of the modeling system. Thank you.